Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the representation of Boolean functions. Boolean function. Boolean function is nothing but suppose f is equal to a b plus b c. This is a Boolean function and its expression. This expression we have got from the truth table. Generally, we are deriving the expression from the truth table by using Karnoff's maps and any simplification methods. But after taking this, there are two types of representations generally we have in the uh, Boolean expressions. One is standard SOP form. Another one is standard POS form. So SOP and POS, these are the two different uh, important representations that we have to use in the representations of the boolean functions so uh, if you take the standard sop form uh, sop form sop is nothing but sum of products sum of products so sum of products here it is product sum of products so first we are making the products between the min terms between the given variables like a b c first we are performing the product a into b this is one product and next b into c it is another product later what we are doing we are making the sum with these two so a b plus b c this is this is the example for sum of products sop and another form of representation of the boolean function is product of sums product of sums product of product of sums that means what we need to do first first we need to perform sum that is nothing but a plus b is one sum and b plus c is another sum later we need to perform product between these two that means and operation between these two this will give you sum of products this is the example of pos okay these are the two examples of these are the two examples of representing a boolean function representing a boolean function one is it may be represented in terms of sum of products or it may be represented in terms of product of sums okay another type another two types of representations are there which are derived from these two only that is standard sop form okay sop form is different standard sop form is different a little bit variation between them standard sop and this is from here we can derive standard pos standard pos what do you mean by standard sop and standard pos what is the difference between standard sop and normal sop sop is nothing but it is written based on the the name is coming from based on the expression it's one the expression this see by seeing a b plus b c we can say it is sum of products by seeing a plus b into b plus c we can say it is nothing but product of sums but whereas if you say standard sop standard sop is nothing but it should consist of all the min terms it, it should consist of all the min terms suppose suppose if i say uh, example for standard sop example for standard sop example for standard sop how we can say that a standard sop suppose if any min term is missing if any min term is missing that will be coming through this standard sop representation suppose for example i am taking f of a comma b comma c a comma b comma c is given as a bar b plus b bar c this is the representation of one sop form now if you see this product term and this product term how many total variables are there three variables are there a comma b comma c this is one min term in the first min term c is missing in the second min term a is missing so here variable c is missing and here a is missing so how we can rectify that a bar b 
into c plus c bar that means we are introducing c here in the first mean term but introduction should not violate the overall equation it should not disturb the equation actually it is a bar b only okay a bar b only but c is not there but we are making c to be there a part of this expression so c plus c bar c plus c bar is nothing but it is one okay c plus c bar is nothing but normally the expression leads to one only so a bar b into one will not change the expression plus again b bar c here a is missing so a plus a bar whichever is missing there we need to do this type of calculation so multiply a bar b into c plus a bar b c bar plus here it is a b bar c plus a bar b bar c this is the representation of standard sop form standard sop form consists of all the terms all the terms that means first expression consists of all the three terms second expression consists of all three variables third expression fourth expression every expression every expression is nothing but a min term every min term consisting of a all the variables okay sop sop is another thing is i will write in the next page see here important note sop is formed by sop is formed by adding min terms adding min terms min terms are nothing but m not m1 and so on m n so here m not m1 m2 and so on m n all these are min terms which are nothing but uh, for example for example three variables are there a b c is one one min term a b c bar is another min term a bar b c is another min term okay suppose if i take three variables three zeros two we have three ones how you are representing three zeros in the sop form a bar into b bar into c bar this is the representation of a min term for triple zero and similarly suppose the second one is zero zero one how you are going to represent this wherever you are having zero that variable should be complemented if you are having one that variable should be a direct form so a bar b bar and third one is c so c and similarly the last one is a b c if you add all these then it will be the total sop of this particular equation okay wherever you are having ones that sop that expression should be considered at the expression <coughs> okay suppose for example for example a b c triple zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 zero 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 one one zero one 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 uh why i am taking one here zero one one zero randomly i am taking this I, there is no particular reason for this see randomly i have taken this expression output okay now how you are going to take this see this is the min term the corresponding see wherever you are having ones first mark them these are the three outputs that shows as one this one corresponding to the expression like 0 0 0 nothing but all three are complemented form so a bar into b bar into c bar see all these examples i am taking for sop okay pos is different okay now here we have so it is a bar b b is one so that's why b and again c bar here it is a bar b c the expression corresponding to this particular one is nothing but a bar b c by seeing this also you can say 0 1 1 nothing but 3 <clears throat> okay so this expression can be written as m naught it is nothing but m 2 it is nothing but m 3 okay so m naught 
m2 m3 these are the three mean terms they, where we are having one in the output okay so we can write it as it is a sum of products so sum sum is nothing but sum is nothing but summation so y is an output consisting of all three variables a b c is equal to is equal to sum of min terms m of m of wherever we are having ones 0 2 3 so it is m of 0 comma 2 comma 3 this is the way of representing an expression okay in the exams also in exams also this type of expression will be given and you are asked to simplify this okay uh, y of a b c d is equal to summation of m of 1 2 3 4 5 7 like that it will be given and you are asked to simplify the expression okay that means what do you mean by that this is 0 means a bar b bar c bar 2 means 0 1 0 so a bar b c bar and 3 means 0 double 1 so a bar b c like that expression you have to take and then simplify that is a reverse order okay simplification is reverse order now i have shown you as it is a beginning for you just i am showing how it is going to be represented in term in in this form okay this is regarding uh, sop sop sum of products now what do you mean by pos examples pos suppose consider the same example see pos is nothing but product of sums product of sums so what we have taken here uh, sum of products is formed by adding min terms POS is formed by multiplying multiplying what is that max terms <coughs> multiplying max terms min terms relate min terms word related to sop max term word related to pos remember that so here multiplication is nothing but pi multiplication is represented in terms of pi max terms capital m so 0 1 2 like that we will be having okay so pi means product pi means product summation means sum so sop is different and pos is different we can say 0 2 3 those are min terms the remaining numbers which are associated with this particular three numbers like uh, 0 uh, triple uh, 3 variables are there so totally 2 power 3 means 8 combinations will be there out of 8 combinations three combinations are treated as min terms remaining five combinations should be treated as max terms remaining five terms should be treated as max terms that means wherever you are having zeros that you need to consider okay that is related to max terms okay suppose i am saying um, take the same example uh, suppose for example i am taking two variables 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay y is the output here y is nothing but pos output so 0 something like 1 0 1 okay here i have 1 here i have 1 but 1 is not necessary now 0 we need to focus this is 1 and this is second one here the expression is see actually in the representation of min terms we have taken it as wherever 0 there we have represented it as a bar okay this is this is b bar but here in max terms in max term we are taking this as a max term max term so it is a and it is b and they should be added so the value for this one is a plus b the value corresponding to this particular zero is nothing but a plus b and here it is a wherever you are having one that should be complemented that should be complemented plus b this is the max term corresponding to the one corresponding to the one where we are having zero 
okay now the result of this one is product of sums this is one sum this is another sum okay this is the product of sums product of sums what is the max term associated with this this is m naught and this is m2 so we can say pi of capital m of 0 comma 2 pi of capital m of 0 comma 2 okay this is the representation of product of sums product of sums and sum of products both are same but zeros should be there once we are giving priority in the uh, sum of products whereas in the product of sums we are giving priority to the zeros there we have given priority to the ones in sop pos we have to give priority for the zeros okay if you are having zero that should be taken in the true form if you are having one that should be taken in the complemented form in the pos opposite is the case with respect to the sum of products okay these are the two important representations in the boolean algebra every expression that we are going to represent in this one only okay in exams most of the uh, stld exams having this type of question okay you are given with y of something like this one is equal to sum of m of all this and a derived simplified expression and here also you will be having the same like y is equal to pi of something derive the simplified boolean expression like that you are going to be asked okay as the simplifications are having different uh, uh, methods like a k map k map is a method corn of map a k map is a method to reduce a large expression or a maximum big truth table into a smaller equation k map is one way another way is quine mccleskey or tabular form that is another method i will tell in future in the coming classes how to reduce the Boolean expression using Kornhoff's map and as well as tabular forms. Thank you.